good Monday morning to you. Hey, Monday has started on a very really high note here on my, the morning. My name is Hilda Bibi and you are watching Youth and Politics. Please do not go anywhere. Today, this week and next week, we are going to be focusing on women. So do make sure you find in the conversation at y254 channel on twitter the hashtag is why in the morning hashtag youth and politics if you like to be more specific on facebook we're at y254 and on instagram we're at y254 underscore channel and i'm not alone in studio yeah you're with me joy mochache i'm also here for youth and politics and we're going to be delving into a really interesting topic today so stay tuned with us and as hilda said you know all the platforms on which you can reach us if you want to reach me you can do so on joy underscore mochache yes and in the spirit of the youth there are some there are certain things that are in the media right now that we cannot ignore yes mm. so it's about time we let you know what's happening in the world there's one johnson sakaja who is the senator of nairobi who talked about how the kenyan government could be at war with the young people do check out this clip and then let us know what you think. Education. Now, I want to thank Senator Wetangula. Mr. Speaker, a country that is at war with its young people is a country that has no future. A country that is at war with its young people is a country that is cannibalizing itself, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, our young people today have no hope. They are disillusioned and they are disengaged. In the months between October and December in this Nairobi, I have lost more than 30 young people to extrajudicial killings. Mr. Speaker, in the last two weeks we've seen a 21-year-old young boy shot at Westgate um, at the Ducit attack, abandoned. We've seen a 26-year-old young, young boy arrested and charged in court because he had to sneak out his baby in a bag because he could not pay that. What are we talking about as a country? What future are we trying to build, Mr. Speaker? Mr. Speaker, we have told in this parliament, for the last few years, we've brought bills, Mr. Speaker. National Employment Authority, I sponsored in the last parliament, where all these young people who are supposedly defaulters of help would have be now been engaged on compulsory internships, which would have paid those loans. They're not being implemented. Mr. Speaker, I brought 30%. The bill that has introduced 30% procurement uh, you know, preferences for young people, governors, ministers, PSs are giving their children, they are giving their cronies. It is not being implemented. Mr. Speaker, we cannot go, and I want to say it today, with authority of the Senate, as the chair, the vice chair of security committee, any police officer listening to me, don't you try. Don't you try to arrest any young person who has defaulted on help. And I wish, because I think the character of CS Amina is different. I just pray that she was misquoted. Because I cannot imagine her having said that, Mr. Speaker. We cannot be talking about recovering 7 point something billion from young people who have no jobs. In fact, this house should amend the law. Help should not have an interest. It's all about interest, Mr. Speaker. And number two, you should not be asked to pay any penalty before you get employment. Government should figure out how they will find out whether those young people have got any employment. But why is it that today it has been a crime to be a young person? In parts of my county, Mr. Speaker, the highest cause of death is youth. Just because you're a young person, you're at risk. You have to be in the house by a certain time. You go out to, you go out to look for a job, Mr. Speaker, you get onto a border border, you come to town, you're arrested. The border border is not yours. It is taken. You have to pay 25,000 shillings to get it. You open a kibanda in Nairobi, Mr. Speaker, the city council is on you. You're arrested. You get into a matatu, Mr. Speaker, you're arrested. Let us become serious, Mr. Speaker. The youth are the trustees. Well, yes, yes, yes. That was our Senator Juan Johnson Sakaja. However, before I let our beautiful guests comment, because today the focus is on women, I would like them to introduce themselves because I have some power ladies in the house. Please say good morning to the people. Hello, my name is Wendy Aura from the University of Nairobi and uh, founder of Shirais and the student leader of the Women's Students Welfare Association. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure to be here today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. My name is Faith. Fao, mm -hmm. Opio, mm -hmm. and I wear so many hats and I'm here because of uh, She Decides mm -hmm. and I'm glad for us to talk about politics, I'm glad for us to talk mm -hmm. about women issues. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, yes, so now you have heard our senator complaining that there could be an issue when it comes to being a young person in Kenya. Mm. And Faith, you have already seen you already very ready to comment. So exactly. I would like to hear what you have to say <laughs> exactly. about this. Uh -huh. Hilda, I wish you saw my face when uh, Sakaja was talking about mm -hmm. um, the issue of interest. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, when I was coming to the studio today in the morning, we had this discussion with a friend of mine also on just help interest being wavered mm -hmm. because it's too much there's so much depression 
with young people mm -hmm. and it's because of you have so many loans to pay including help which mm -hmm. comes with an interest mm -hmm. so it's very funny when a government that's supposed to be protecting you as a youth mm -hmm. is still putting interest mm -hmm. on the education that's supposed to be empowering you because once you're empowered you get to you know contribute to the GDP and economy of the country mm -hmm. but if you're supposed to be paying this interest plus the loan that you are given before mm -hmm. then you cannot be able to you know go forward with what you want to do mm -hmm. because this is the only issue of interest this is the only issue of you have money somewhere you want to try to live as a youth so it's a discussion that i'll be really glad if we can delve in mm -hmm. especially help mm -hmm. it's the in thing and it's something that is ongoing to us mm -hmm. when yeah. you're still in the university yourself uh, so please can we hear yeah speaking of help i won't deny mm -hmm. the value of help to university students mm -hmm. but th there's a one year grace period given to to students to pay the, the loan. Mm -hmm. But now the issue comes, what if you don't have a job uh -huh. during the one year? Mm -hmm. Because in right now in this country, you can go for years with your papers. Right. Yeah, because all you see in the vacancies, they need five years experience, 10 years experience, mm -hmm. and then you wonder, where will you get the experience from? Mm -hmm. You know. So as Sakaja said, we need to first if there was an act, okay, there's a bill that he passed, that was passed, but if it was taken seriously, mm -hmm. then there will be maybe internships, then the internship should be paid, mm -hmm. a stipend, and then uh, it will be made maybe in form of a contract where uh, at least you are sure of some money before you get the actual job. Mm -hmm. So there are some companies maybe you'll do attachments, you are not given any money, and that will that is so unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So we need to really take the bill seriously. It was passed uh, recently, uh, and uh, Sakaja is the one who, uh, Miss Honorable Sakaja, mm -hmm. is yes. the one that that brought the bill to to the right. house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if it was something that is taken seriously to be executed, mm -hmm. then it would be so easy for the young people to be able to at least pay the loan. Mm -hmm. It's not. But I'm I'm not saying that we need to default. But we we'll, we need to make the conditions safe and and maybe favorable for the youth to be able to to pay back for the for the loan. So the the more we have the un, unemployment, we won't expect the defaulting to go down. As long as we are not going to provide uh, the youth the jobs they need, mm -hmm. they're not going to have that space for entrepreneurship mm -hmm. that gives them that good money. Then we will be expecting more of defaulters. Yeah. yeah. So we need to really work on maybe taking seriously the bill that has been passed and ensuring that maybe the companies, they need to pay the youth. Mm -hmm. They need to create opportunities. They need to make a certain, per uh, a certain percentage of employment, maybe in certain departments, mm -hmm. to be taken by youth. Mm -hmm. And that way we'll be creating more spaces. Mm -hmm. And then talking of experience, yeah, I know there are some jobs that really need experience, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what if they create room for for people to gain that experience? Mm -hmm. Because you, I can't get out of university, then I'm looking for a job. I can't get that one experience, you're looking for a job. All, all job vacancies, actually most of them, they're looking they for experience. experience. So what about those who are just from the university, yet they have the skills? Right. So we need to create that room to create that employment first. So as much as we're creating opportunities for loaning money yeah. out for kids to better their lives, we also need to create opportunities on how they can pay back those loans. Yeah, exactly. Because we're just throwing them into the deep mm -hmm. end. We're giving them yeah. one thing. You know, we're giving them, <laughs> we're not teaching them how to fish. We're just giving them the fish and yeah. telling them, okay, cool mm -hmm. asasa. Mm -hmm. And then what happens next? But yeah. we should be teaching them how to fish, I think is what I'm gathering from mm -hmm. what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. And apart from that also, the grace period should be a little bit longer. I find one year to be not practical, mm -hmm. even yeah. for a youth. You just yes. from graduating mm -hmm. and then now, yeah. Yeah. you want to you're just finding your feet mm -hmm. on the ground mm -hmm. and then now start paying home yeah. and there it is accumulating the, interest exactly mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> the interest by the way all yeah. right exactly mm -hmm. so the grace period should be extended mm -hmm. i don't have a problem also with the paying of loan i'm a beneficiary mm -hmm. of help just mm -hmm. like wendy said mm -hmm. but then again give me time i know i owe mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. give me time and give me practical time mm -hmm. for me to pay you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and also ways in which i can pay you exactly yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but at the same time uh, uh if you notice the the speech from cs the cs Mo, amina mohammed mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and she was talking about those who have jobs mm -hmm. but don't pay uh -huh. so we can't also mm -hmm. ignore that fact we have people who really are able to pay mm -hmm. but they really are evading the 
the payment because mm. the cost of living yeah. is very high and then also i would understand <laughs> these kenyans who are also refusing to pay because at the end of the day we have such so many scandals money mm -hmm. so a lot of our money is being lost to some of these uh, government officials and not much is being done to get that money back so why are you hounding me in my house for my 300k mm. for help and mm -hmm. 1 billion has disappeared that is the opinion of some of the kenyans and mm -hmm. some of the defaulters however please don't default on paying your loans mm -hmm. yes. however yes, that, that was just an, an issue mm -hmm. arising Today the mm. focus is on women, and today mm. we have something special. We have founder of She Rise, and then we have founder, and then we have sorry, a representative from mm. She, she Decides. decides. Mm. Yeah. So in case you don't know what She Decides is all about, please make sure you check this one out. When she decides, the world is better, stronger, safer. She decides whether, when, and with whom to have sex, to fall in love, to marry. She's winning out. Yes, 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 yes. The reason Faith appears here is because uh -huh. she's here to make sure we, you understand much better what <coughs> she decides is all about. And even next week, we will still be with this particular mm -hmm. team to make sure that we understand the aftermath of this event mm -hmm. that is happening on the 2nd of March. Mm -hmm. Please, Faith, enlighten us. Thank you. Um, she Decides mm -hmm. is a political movement, mm -hmm. one. It's not an NGO mm -hmm. because I've had many friends telling me, the organization in your NGO is which one? Mm -hmm. oh. It's not mm -hmm. an NGO. It's a political movement mm -hmm. that um, came about in uh, January 2017 mm -hmm. okay. and it was because of uh, something called gag rule by mm -hmm. President Trump. The global yeah. gag rule. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. the global GGR. GGR. Mm -hmm. Or something we call the Mexico City policy. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So it came about because um, Trump withdrew all the funding from NGO, mm -hmm. NGOs that were implementing any issues on abortion or giving any information mm -hmm. on abortion. Mm -hmm. So NGOs were like, no, wait a minute, this is a ladies issue mm -hmm. apart from just being a ladies issue and mm -hmm. a women issue mm -hmm. they have a right to decide mm -hmm. what is it that they can do with mm -hmm. their bodies what mm -hmm. is it that they can do with their future what is it that they can do with their life mm -hmm. so that is where the two word originated she from decides. she decides mm -hmm. i have a right to decide mm -hmm. what i want to do with my body what i want to do with my life mm -hmm. what i want to do with my future who to marry mm -hmm. who to have pleasure with who mm -hmm. to have sex how many children i want mm -hmm. family planning so this whole issue mm -hmm. around she decides so that is where it originated it's not an ngo it's a political movement mm -hmm. where any friend that feels they need to be part of this mm -hmm. can be able to you know sign up a manifesto that i'll give mm -hmm. a link mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. sign a manifesto and decide to protect a girl and decide to just you know be the voice of she decides mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. okay so in the spirit of trying to do to, to what do you call it to thrust women mm -hmm. into leadership eh? mm -hmm. joy do you yes. have any questions well, because i really want to ask the was what when mm -hmm. it comes to she decides mm -hmm. kenya they mm -hmm. do believe that a woman should have the right to 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 do as she pleases with her body she as well everything. and with mm -hmm. her life mm -hmm. yes as the women students welfare <laughs> was is a very long title please mm -hmm. please let us know what do you think Okay, first of all, we can't ignore the fact that the world is changing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the more the world is evolving, mm -hmm. women are getting more knowledge. Mm -hmm. They're becoming more empowered. Mm -hmm. Then we are getting the we are getting to be more aware mm -hmm. of ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's been okay, for a long time things have been decisions have been made for us. Mm -hmm. And then you find issues like family planning. Mm -hmm. You always have to maybe consider what your hubby will say, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. But now because we've learned and we've learned from our mistakes and we've also read and maybe we've, we've, we have that aware awareness mm -hmm. and now it's time maybe it's a good idea that mm -hmm. it's come up right now because mm -hmm. uh, it's time that the women know that they have a right to their body right. they have the right to make that decision that they really want mm -hmm. so it's, it's not time for us to make it to really assume that someone will come and make decisions for us you know right. and uh, it, it's a good initiative mm -hmm. by the and I'll, I'll on behalf of she decides i'll urge 
all women to be able to to be part of this movement mm -hmm. and if we come together then our voices will be stronger right and then uh, it will be able to create that atmosphere mm -hmm. to be able to tell the world that we also have a place we also have a say and it starts with us mm. you know before we start even making decisions on other things we have a say on ourselves mm -hmm. and that's one big step one major step that the the world is taking mm. yeah it, it i applaud them the she decides, yeah. Mm -hmm. And by the <laughs> I think it's so interesting. And Wendy, Wendy will be yeah, at the will front be of it on Saturday, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think that's so interesting because mm -hmm. you know we're coming from a very patriarchal society. Mm -hmm. Very patriarchal society. Mm -hmm. And this is a very, very female issue. Mm -hmm. yeah. And some may even look at it and say that, oh, they're just being feminists. Mm -hmm. But aside I don't think it has anything to do with that at all. Mm -hmm. Um I do feel that it is important though mm -hmm. to give women a chance to decide because so much has been decided for us for mm -hmm. such a long time mm -hmm. to the point where sometimes um, it it's our to our own detriment mm -hmm. so it reaches a point where you look and you say you know what mm. I think it's time for me to stand up and say I am going to make certain decisions mm -hmm. for myself, mm -hmm. especially when it's going to affect me mm -hmm. personally, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. it's going to affect me in the mm -hmm. majority mm -hmm. of the world, uh, in the majority sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I've just got to ask when it comes to launching something like this, mm -hmm. was there any kind of backlash that you got? I find it so interesting because there's a lot that you're saying that I'm sure some people mm -hmm. are like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm about to exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes, there was a lot of backlash even from the NGO world. Mm -hmm. right. Even the ones even being run NGO by world. yes, mm -hmm. even the ones being run by the so-called feminists, mm -hmm. being <laughs> run by women-led organizations. Mm -hmm. There's still some issues. Just the way you've said, apart from just. Kenya being patriarchal, mm -hmm. there are still some issues on She Decides mm -hmm. manifesto mm -hmm. that people don't subscribe to. Yes. Safe mm -hmm. abortion, mm -hmm. it's still like a taboo yes. here. Yes. Um, uh, pregnancies and child marriages mm -hmm. in some part of Northern Kenya, it's mm -hmm. the ongoing thing. So I go to Northern Kenya, I'm like, you mm -hmm. decide. Mm -hmm. It will be another issue yeah. altogether. Mm -hmm. altogether. So, Yes, there's been backlash and there are some NGOs that haven't signed the manifesto, they mm -hmm. say they're not part of it, mm -hmm. which is okay, mm -hmm. because we invite only the people who are there to the whole scope of She Decides, mm -hmm. issues that pertain the body, mm -hmm. issues that pertain the sexual reproductive system, mm -hmm. issues that pertain the decision making of a woman, mm -hmm. so if you agree with this scope of She Decides, mm -hmm. then you're a friend of She Decides, mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. like Wendy said that we are it's it's already here the conversation is already continuing my right mm -hmm. i'm empowered mm -hmm. i should be having this and that mm -hmm. so what we just want to do is enforce mm -hmm. their voice mm -hmm. and when you do it in a two-letter word she decides it's so catchy yeah apart from just being catchy it gets the conversation rolling mm -hmm. so fast mm. yeah. there's something mm -hmm. that happens when it comes to the moral compass of uh, like because there's something joy has brought mm -hmm. up which i think is very important mm -hmm. which is the fact that so many things have already been decided for us as mm -hmm. women mm -hmm. so we don't really get so much so a lot of chances to decide what it is that mm -hmm. we really need and also this could be some of the roadblocks that we experience when it comes to leadership and that's mm -hmm. the reason why we don't people don't trust mm -hmm. uh generally it's a couple of Okay, some part of society subscribes mm -hmm. the idea that women should not lead. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask you, Wendy. Mm -hmm. eh? uh, she decides community is uh, is saying that we should allow um, abortion if the woman feels that mm -hmm. it is something that she that will benefit her life. Do you do you subscribe to this school of thought? Okay, first of all, um, okay, I think people may may mis misunderstand the. Okay, there are many versions of feminism, mm -hmm. but. From the word go, this is not a feminist thing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, because everyone has their own version. It is important mm -hmm. to clarify yeah. that. Mm -hmm. We have to clarify this. Mm -hmm. yes. And then uh, we also ha we know about the morals we need to uphold mm -hmm. as women, as mm -hmm. people in the society, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But then we go to school, there are a lot of things we read from in the internet, we mm -hmm. read from people, mm -hmm. but we can never assume that these things happen, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, someone, uh, we can't assume <coughs> For example, as a, a lady going to maybe a good high school mm -hmm. cannot get pregnant, mm -hmm. but she has all the exp uh, the knowledge she needs. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're being taught about it. They have clubs. They have mentorships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it is still happen at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the question is, what if it happens? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't say that. Uh, let's encourage girls to get pregnant to and then go in the boat. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we didn't say that. Let's 
let's just do some silly things because it's our it's a free mm -hmm. world you know because yeah. we are women we still have limits mm -hmm. but what if it happens mm -hmm. you know what to do next what do you do next mm -hmm. you don't just sit there now li your life has stopped mm -hmm. because you've made that one mistake mm -hmm. life has to go on mm -hmm. and maybe deciding making that decision mm -hmm. is what will determine your next step in life mm -hmm. because sometimes we can't assume all situations are the same mm -hmm. yeah. what if the the baby, uh, the girl's life is in danger mm -hmm. what if her future is in jeopardy mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so there are a lot of things you need to consider when such things happen mm -hmm. but we didn't say we are promoting immorality mm -hmm. we didn't say we are encouraging girls to just have sex with their body because they're free. Mm -hmm. We didn't say well, let's just do anything we want. Mm -hmm. There's no full stop. There's no limit. Mm -hmm. We'll still do that. We'll still continue telling our young girls to keep safe, mm -hmm. to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. But what if it happens? We what need measures put in place. What if it happens? To deal with what yeah. to do next. Because yeah. you watched the expose about the, the quack clinics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. I bet if you watched it, I almost cried. Mm -hmm. It is it's something that touches you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see a girl being forced to to squat on a bucket and mm. to force that fetus down. Mm. How do you do that? Mm -hmm. You know, and then of course they will leave some damage. Yeah. yeah, and then you accept money. The parent the parent doesn't know mm -hmm. because these things are cheap. Mm -hmm. They are everywhere in the mm -hmm. clinics mm -hmm. in the estates. Mm -hmm. What if we just make it make the parents understand that there is a safer way of doing this? So what if the girl the safety. Yeah. Exactly. What if the girl dies? Faith, That's true. I yeah. think exactly. maybe you should let us know the background of this particular decision yeah. because I can imagine the moral backlash that you mm. get. Yeah. People should yeah. go back to quack clinics. Mm. It's still and on I'm YouTube. So, uh, yeah, I'm also yeah. I'm thinking I'm like yes. you're so brave. Yes, the both of you. Brave, you have yeah. no idea how much <laughs> braveness it takes <laughs> to do what you're doing. Do you yeah. And I admire that. Mm -hmm. As we are having this conversation, mm -hmm. some something is just running through my mind because mm -hmm. this one is a TV station mm -hmm. and I'm speaking even from a spiritual point of view mm -hmm. because I'm also a religious person mm -hmm. and I'm for pro-life I'm mm -hmm. um, in the school of thought of mm -hmm. pro-life and pro-life in this sense mm -hmm. Hilda um, this same girl you want to condemn her for you know engaging in sex mm -hmm. when she didn't want to mm -hmm. but then again she has the decision she has a right mm -hmm. to decide mm -hmm. whether they want this child mm -hmm. or not whether they want to carry the pregnancy to term mm -hmm. or not mm -hmm. and she decides not only about abortion because we are really focusing on mm -hmm. abortion here because it's i'm sure that's what people will be, will be picking yeah. 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 No, yeah. 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 exactly exactly that's why i'm saying this i'm pro-life and pro-life in this sense mm -hmm. Um, when he has just given the issues that can happen yes. if mm. she decides mm -hmm. to go to the quack doctors mm -hmm. and back streets. I like what Actually, you did Actually, Kenyans mm -hmm. don't know what these girls go through. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a lot of data mm -hmm. that gives us how many lives are being lost when people go through mm -hmm. unsafe abortion. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of data mm -hmm. that are being given on how mm -hmm. many people just take suicidal pills mm -hmm. at home mm -hmm. and even medicines that they go buy from God knows where to mm -hmm. just you know, Flash terminate. Mm -hmm. But what about if we give her mm -hmm. a life where she can decide, mm -hmm. I'll get rid of it, mm -hmm. but before getting rid, there's normally the cancelling part. Mm -hmm. Options are being given. Mm -hmm. Before you decide to terminate, mm -hmm. you have A, B, C options. Mm -hmm. Before you reach to this point, mm -hmm. please do this and do this and do this in mm -hmm. a safe mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. So that by the time we are preaching the gospel of Mm -hmm. not terminating mm -hmm. we already saved we have already saved a life here mm -hmm. that will be taking concentrated jig or mm -hmm. too much wires being inserted mm -hmm. in the name of just getting rid of the pregnancy mm -hmm. yeah. so i'm so i'm so for pro life mm -hmm. but pro life in saving the mother mm -hmm. and then we can talk about other things also. So when yeah. she decides on not just one thing, on mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see what you mean in the sense mm -hmm. that not only can she des she can decide to have an abortion, mm -hmm. she can decide to keep the child. Yes. Yeah. She can decide to carry the child to time and mm -hmm. raise the kid. Exactly. Yeah. She decides. She decides. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not up to you to go and tell her yeah. you to give birth or you, you to have abort. an abortion. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, she will decide whether she wants to have that baby or not. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and also that mm -hmm. counseling I find it's mm -hmm. so paramount. Mm -hmm. It's so important because what you're doing is you're letting this um 
young lady know that look mm -hmm. when you make this decision a b c d and follow mm -hmm. when, if you make this decision a b c d will follow mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so in her mind she needs to make a decision mm -hmm. if you don't give her those two explanations those two choices mm -hmm. without giving her the consequences mm -hmm. exactly. you just throw her out there to make her own decisions mm -hmm. exactly. yeah. like you said mm -hmm. someone can end up drinking some bleach mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it has ever happened mm -hmm. and I love the way you bring it because that is what she decides is mm -hmm. give her an option mm -hmm. let her be the sole decision maker, maker. without question mm -hmm. without yeah. coercion mm -hmm. without any external factor and mm -hmm. even as we're discussing women issue mm -hmm. um, Wendy talked about feminism and there are very different versions of feminists mm -hmm. I'm a feminist mm -hmm. but feminist in this case mm -hmm. I believe in equal opportunities and ch chances for both the boy mm -hmm. and the girl mm -hmm. because many of women outside here they normally say i'm a radical feminist men are the mm -hmm. problem mm -hmm. to us as they women. hate men basically, they hate yeah. men basically yeah, which is not mm -hmm. right which is not right yeah. there's, something, there's, something, there's something i want to i want to ask mm -hmm. why why do you believe that this movement is political mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. It's political because it engages policy makers, mm -hmm. it engages parliamentarians, mm -hmm. people who give the laws whether yeah. we are having abortion or not. Mm -hmm. It happens in the parliament. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. People who form policies regarding the abortion, termination mm -hmm. of pregnancies, mm -hmm. it's politicians. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if we don't bring them on board, mm -hmm. then this one will just be a mere talk mm -hmm. on the TV shows. Okay. Yeah. But if we bring them on board mm -hmm. and you're like, wait a minute, mm -hmm. we're having this data, mm -hmm. all this is based on research. Mm -hmm. How many lives are being lost mm -hmm. and how many can be prevented? Mm -hmm. Let us preach the gospel first. Mm -hmm. And even as we preach the gospel of abstain, use mm -hmm. family mm -hmm. planning, mm -hmm. all this and this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When it happens, mm -hmm. how do we protect our girls? So mm -hmm. we bring in politicians, we bring in parliamentarians. Mm -hmm. That's why we say it's a political movement. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. have to be involved. We have to involve the government in this. So, so as much as there's prevention, we have to focus on the cure. Yes. yes. And also so that an actual change comes around. Because mm -hmm. without those policies, without those laws, mm -hmm. we're just talking. Mm -hmm. yeah. And by in, <coughs> after two, three years, it's just going to be another thing that passed. Exactly. Yeah. So those mm -hmm. laws and policies have to be put in place mm -hmm. by the people you are mm -hmm. including in this political movement. Mm -hmm. And I think you've gone to the right place. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's something else I wanted to add. Beside mm -hmm. the abortion, now let's leave that topic of abortion. Mm -hmm. uh, deciding, let's talk about us deciding how we want to look like. Mm -hmm. Because they, recently there was a, a thread on Twitter, mm -hmm. thick versus thin la ladies, something. Mm -hmm. Thick versus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember it very well. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, why are we discussing about being thick and thin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really something to, to talk about. Mm -hmm. Because if I decide this the, wa the way I want to be, mm -hmm. then you have no say on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. If I decide mm -hmm. I want to be plum, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then you don't, you don't have to have issues with it if I'm mm -hmm. fine with it. Mm -hmm. So these, these are some of the issues that we, mm -hmm. when you talk about deciding, mm -hmm. then ca that comes up. So mm -hmm. let's not limit ourselves to abortion and mm -hmm. maybe because people will just mistake she decides for Abo for abortion deciding abortion. on to yeah. abort or not. Or not. So and it's that about that it's that about good the to bodies. Bring you guys mm -hmm. on, on air so that yeah. you can clarify that, that yeah. it's not just about that. But um, there's also the issue of. Um, Oh goodness, I think I've just lost my train of thought. <laughs> as we as we bring it as we bring mm -hmm. it back, mm -hmm. um when you talk about mm -hmm. even our own bodies. Mm -hmm. Yes, that I've remembered. Thank remember. you so that much. Is why I was it. It. Yes, um, mm -hmm. there's something that Wendy has talked about mm -hmm. when it comes to how women uh, carry themselves. Mm -hmm. And there's a president uh, or prime minister, a female mm -hmm. one, who complained that a man can wear the same suit one hundred times. Mm -hmm. Blue suit one hundred times. <laughs> but when a woman wears the same outfit two times somebody will start making a few comments mm -hmm. here and there. Mm -hmm. So let us know when it comes to dressing. Do you guys feel that we should have some kind of cora, decor? Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we should. And mm -hmm. from this, I decide whether I want to wear this mm -hmm. gray and black dress mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I wash it, I wear it. Mm -hmm. I decide. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to bring in the point of uh, mm -hmm. even the body mm -hmm. because i feel it's a pertinent issue to mm -hmm. us as women mm -hmm. and we've been uh, subjected to criticism mm -hmm. i'm not expected to be like you mm -hmm. you know all slim i'm a bit plump i'm not mm -hmm. expected to be brown like you but there's a lot of pressure mm -hmm. on how a woman should look like mm -hmm. the yeah. brown the tall and mm -hmm. there was recently last i think it was last week document documentary on uh, mm -hmm. kuchipua mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. bleaching right. Right. Just oh, bleaching. Yes. Yeah. and this one is because of pressure and the mm -hmm. reason they are giving mm -hmm. it's because um light skin you know are at 
are attractive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what about the dark dark skins mm -hmm. so women should be given a chance to decide what they want to do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there should not be any pressure mm -hmm. i get married mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. husband she, he starts increasing weight mm -hmm. they'll be like ha mm -hmm. the wife <laughs> the is wife. Really taking care of you <laughs> you know the wife yeah, is doing so the true. duty mm -hmm. you're but being well personally mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let me get fat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. mama you're looking like i don't know what mm -hmm. so what so much what happened mm -hmm. so he has the right to you know have a big stomach mm -hmm. but when they start increasing some cellulite, mm -hmm. I don't have a right. Mm -hmm. I'm no longer an attractive, mm -hmm. yeah. which makes women's body to be an ornament mm -hmm. rather than an instrument, mm -hmm. which should not be the case. Mm -hmm. I know so, what you're bringing out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it should be an issue of, I decide, I want to be plump. That is how my body is. Don't put pressure on me. Mm -hmm. I want to be light skill. fine. Mm -hmm. That's your issue. Yeah. Deal with it. Mm -hmm. Let me be dark. Mm -hmm. But even the ones who want to be light, let them decide. Yeah. As mm -hmm. long as we've given them an option. Mm -hmm. These are. This is what you're choosing. That These are the consequences. Mm -hmm. Now you choose. Mm -hmm. That is where we are coming in with all she decides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's so important. And mm -hmm. it's good to cover such issues as well. This mm -hmm. is encompassing everything that has to do with the woman in every way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what about when it comes to dressing because I can imagine the first woman who wore trousers mm -hmm. did not get mm -hmm. an easy crowd mm -hmm. I can imagine what she went <laughs> mm -hmm. through yeah. the very first one and mm -hmm. so I can I'm thinking of this as um, mm -hmm. I'm not thinking of it as the same mm -hmm. but I'm thinking of it as starting a movement mm -hmm. about an issue that is almost taboo mm -hmm. issues that mm -hmm. are almost taboo mm -hmm. and you know when you say things like that people are asking themselves how is light skin dark skin taboo because mm -hmm. number one mm -hmm. people hate talking about it mm -hmm. and then yeah mm -hmm. it just mm -hmm. becomes something where you ask yourself when mm -hmm. will the lady come and decide what mm -hmm. beauty is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah Okay, then I guess it's about time we conclude this segment because next week we're going to have a heavy, heavy, heavy conversation when it comes to this. So please do not go anywhere. Thank you so much for coming to studio today. I think it's about time we paved the way for Man Talk mm -hmm. or, or with one color Weaver. So please don't go anywhere You're watching youth and politics. Please do stand by. Next week, we're going to have the ladies. Faith is not going to be alone. Next week, we're going to have quite a number of ladies here <laughs> yeah, yeah. and we're going to delve into this in really more too. detail. But mm -hmm. for now, please make sure on 2nd of March you are paying attention and mm -hmm. stay tuned to what happens if she decides. Please do not go anywhere.